Students, remember to move your cars from the junior lot immediately after school on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays for the band. Teachers, DECA's MDA team is selling this year's t-shirts. There's a short and long sleeve option. Contact Miss Smith if you want one. Students, if you are interested in the spring break trip to New York, please see Miss Dow in room 55 or Miss Harriet in 62. This trip is open to all students. The total cost is $795 and the first deposit is $200 due on October 1st. There is a Europe trip meeting tomorrow, August 27th at 7 p.m. for anyone who is interested or currently signed up. Pay your deposit by September 1st to get $100 off. Teachers, Family Fun Night will be Wednesday, August 27th from 5.30 to 7.30 at Litchfield Aquatic Center. Make sure to let Mr. Newton know if you are going to attend and how many people you'll be bringing with you. Attention academic team members, the academic team practice schedule for this week is as followed. Today, August 26th, practice in room 6 with Mr. Newsom. Wednesday, August 27th, practice in room 25 with Ms. Duval. Thursday, August 28th, practice in room 14 with Ms. Ms. Henderson. Oh. All practices begin at 3 o'clock. Teachers, if you have announcements that you would like to read in the morning or in the afternoon, please send those by email to Ms. Wilson or Mr. Williams as soon as possible. Now to Brittany with lunch. Today for lunch, we were having chicken sandwich, hamburger, and potato sauce. And now Kelsey for the sports. There's a boys soccer game tonight at home at 5.30 against Apollo. There's a golf match against Breckenridge County. And the girls volleyball team travels to Edmondson County tonight at five o'clock to take on the Wildcats. And speaking of Edmondson County. And I was Miss Edmondson County. Anyway, since the Miss Grayson County pageant is tonight, I have spoken with Miss Gail McCready and Miss Jordan Clemens because both of them were Miss Grayson County at one point in time. So, Jordan, when were you Miss Grayson County? I was Miss Grayson County in 2007. And you were also Miss Teen Grayson County, right? I was Miss Teen Grayson County, yes. And did you compete at the state level? Yeah, I competed at the state level for both of the pageants. Whenever I was Miss Teen Grayson County, I went to state and won Miss Teen Kentucky County Fair. What were some of your duties or responsibilities or even just some of like the most favorite things that you got to do as Miss Teen Kentucky? Uh, it was a really wonderful experience. I got to go to the state fair and meet a lot of really cool, interesting, important people. And I got to hang out with little Miss and Mr. Kentucky and Miss Kentucky as well. So it was just a really great experience overall. I got to be in the Pegasus Parade as well, so it was fun. Okay, what piece of advice would you like to give the girls competing in the pageant tonight? Uh, just be confident and be yourself and make sure you have fun when you do it. So Ms. McCready, how did you get involved in pageants? Well, the first pageant I did was Miss Grayson County and I did it on a dare. A dare? It was a dare from some of my friends. We were sitting up in the grandstands and I was laughing at a couple of the girls and they got mad <laughs> and they said, okay, then we double dog dare you to do it. So if you get double dog dared, pretty much you have to do it. So I ended up putting on a ton of makeup and paraded around in a gown and that was also the year that my dad lost his job and I knew I wanted to go to college so I had to figure out a way to get some scholarship money. So I found out that Miss Grayson County had a $500 scholarship and I entered that and I won. So I that used that awesome. money and helped with my college expenses. Awesome. I bet a lot of people don't know that, you know, pageants have that scholarship opportunity. So it's good that that's getting out there. Uh, when were you Miss Grayson County? Miss Grayson County was 1985. And then I hit a winning streak in 1985. I went on to the Miss Kentucky preliminaries and won that. And then in 1986, I won Miss Barron County. And then after that, I ended up getting married and I started competing in Misra's Kentucky pageants. And I ended up being Misra's Kentucky, Western Kentucky University. 
and then ended up being Mrs. Kentucky USA. Wow. So I ended up all together, I won about $13,000 and a free trip to Washington, D.C. That is just, I didn't even know you could get all that from pageants, and I did pageants, so that's awesome. Uh, what's maybe a good piece of advice for some of the girls competing in the pageant tonight? Always and foremost, be yourself. Try not to be a fake person. Usually judges can see right through that. So be honest and be upfront and that will help you win. Hi, I'm Jordan Clemens and this is Gail McCready. As former Miss Grayson Counties, we would like to wish all of the pageant girls tonight competing in the pageant. Good luck to all of you. We're here with the reigning Miss Teen Grayson County, Allison Nicole Benson. Hi. <laughs> Are you sad to be giving up your title? Yes, I am very, very upset that I have to give up my title because this year it was a lot of fun and I really liked representing Grayson County. So, okay. <laughs> what is some advice for the contestants tonight? Um, it's just to be confident and it's really all about having fun more than winning. Winning is just a plus, I guess. Um, uh, I would just say that be confident and just try to do your best on stage. What advice would you give to whoever wins when they go to state next year? Um, I guess it's just the same thing. Just practice a lot. The skills that they use in the pageant at the fair, you need to practice those skills for state because they use the same skills that the state uses. Um, make sure you have a good support system. Yeah, make sure you have friends there with you to support you, like Elena did for me <laughs> last year. I um, love you. Uh, yeah, so that's it. <laughs> Thank you for this interview. You are oh, very welcome. Thanks to Ms. McCready, Ms. Clemens, and Allie Vincent for talking to us about your Miss GC titles. Y'all were too cute this Tuesday. The fair kicks off tonight with the pre-teen, teen, and Miss Grayson County pageants. The gates open at 4 o'clock and the pageants start at 7. Good luck to all the lovely ladies competing. There will be a drag race tomorrow, as well as the pageants for all girls younger than 9 in the Little Miss and Mr. pageant. Go follow Grayson Growl on Twitter and Instagram. Let us know what you think of our broadcast and don't be scared to share your awesome ideas with us. Just hashtag Grayson Growl and also anytime you tweet about GCHS, always hashtag Cougar Crazies, GC Pride, or We Are GC. Y'all have a great Tuesday and have fun at the fair.